What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to restart your computer. Now, obviously, this is a simple task for most people, but I'll be showing you a few different ways to do it in case you get lost. Also, if you get lost while watching the video or I go too fast, make sure to use the timestamps down below, pause the video and reverse. And even if you need, set the video to 0.25% speed if I'm talking that fast. Anyways, without further ado, how do you restart your computer? Well, the simplest way is to click the start button, then power, and then restart. Next up, you can hit the start and X keys on your keyboard to bring up this options menu. Inside of here, in shutdown or sign out, click restart and your PC will restart. Next up, a hard reboot. For this, all you need to do is locate the power button on your PC and hold it until your PC shuts. Next, we can do it via the command prompt. Hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog, type CMD and hit enter. Then inside of command prompt, we'll be typing in shutdown space forward slash R. When you do so, you'll need to wait a random amount of seconds until your PC goes then for the next method, this is a bit of a shortcut on the previous one. Hold start and press R. Then instead of opening command prompt first, we can type in shutdown space forward slash R in here. Once again, there'll be a few seconds until our PC randomly shuts up. Now for this next method, we'll be using something called PowerShell. It's similar to the command prompt that we used previously. Hit start, type in PowerShell, and we'll be opening Windows PowerShell. Then inside of here, we can use the age old command of shutdown space forward slash R, or if you'd like to be more fancy, using the correct terminology, restart capital R hyphen computer capital C. When you hit enter, you'll be now, previously, I explained how you can reboot your computer by simply holding in the power button. But if you're lucky, you may have a button next to the power button that looks like a recycle option or something along those lines. When you hit it, your PC will instantly. Next up, this is a bit of a throwback. If your PC has Cortana on it and enabled, you can open it up and tell it to restart your computer simply by saying, hey, Cortana, restart my computer. I don't have that enabled because Cortana is rubbish. Then next up, the simple method of hitting Control, Alt and Delete all at once. When you do so, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. In the bottom right, click the power button and then restart. Then for a more advanced method, we can restart using the Windows Management Interface Console or whatever the heck WMIC stands for. Hit start, type in CMD and open command prompt. Then inside of here, we'll be typing in WMIC space OS space where space primary equals inside of single quotes, true, all capitals and reboot. Then it Next up, we can reboot our PC through the use of Windows Update. If you currently have pending updates, you can open the Check for Updates screen by searching for Updates. Otherwise, inside of Settings, go to Windows Update, and in the top right, you'll probably see a Restart Now button instead of Check for Updates if pending updates are waiting for installation. Obviously, it's a bit slower of a restart method, as you will need to wait for your updates to install first, but it still works. Another simple method is to lock your PC. Hold Start and press L or click the start button, then your profile and choose lock. When you've done so, in the bottom right, you can click the power button, followed by restart. Now, if you think that your graphics card is having issues leading you to need to restart your PC, you may not actually need to do so. Hold start, control, shift and press B to restart the graphics driver on your PC. Your screen will go black, then come back and your graphics driver will be restarted as if you rebooted your PC. Next up, we'll download AutoHotkey. Head across to AutoHotkey.com, click a download and then choose version 1.1 depreciated. We'll need this for the command. Download it, open it up, yes, and we'll be clicking through the installer. So just install and wait for it to finish. Then we'll right click on our desktop, new text document, and we'll rename it restart. Now we'll need file extensions turned on. For this, hit start, type in file extensions, click the first option to open up the settings menu, turn them on, and we can close this. Then we'll be removing the .text and replacing it with .ahk as such. Change, and we'll open it with any text editor like Notepad. Inside of here, type in shutdown, comma, space two, save it, and run all. 
Next up, we'll do something a bit more advanced using the registry editor. Get start, type in reg edit and open the registry editor. Now inside of here, using the folder structure on the left, we'll head into hkey classes root, then typing in directory to jump to directory. We'll expand this, background, expand, and shell we'll click on. Then we'll right click new key and type in restart computer. Open this new key or folder on the left. We'll right click this new folder we just made, new key, and type in command. Then inside of command, we'll double click the default option, type in shut down, space, type in shut down, space R, space slash R, space slash T, zero to restart immediately, and click OK. Now when we right click our desktop, show more options, you should now see restart computer, which does exactly what you would think but maybe you don't like adding options to your context menu. Instead, we can right click our desktop, new and select shortcut. Then for the address, we'll type in shutdown, space R, space slash R, space slash T, zero. Next, we'll give it a name, restart, finish. And now whenever we double click the shortcut up, he's now the next command is pretty fun. Hit start, open either PowerShell or command prompt as admin, and all you're typing in win init, hit enter. Then you'll be Next up, we'll need to download and install Visual Studio. Download Visual Studio and we'll open it up. We'll open up the first link, download the community edition, then wait for it to do something, download, yes, continue. And when it's done, we'll get the Visual Studio installer. All that's left to do now is uncheck everything that we won't be using, except for desktop development with C++. Scrolling down, that's pretty much all that we need here. Then we'll click install and wait for this to finish. And now when it's done, it'll launch Visual Studio. I'll skip signing in. We'll create a new project. I'll make just a C++ console app. We'll call it restart. And inside of here, now's where the fun begins. All we need to do is open the restart CPP file and we'll be copying in the commands from the description down below. Or in fact, you'll find the file there. So we'll import Windows H, then we'll get privileges for the PC, and right below that, simply just restart. Then we can save this and run it. Now it'll build. You'll find a handy dandy restart exe file inside of the projects folder when it's done rebooting. Restart x64 debug. Here it is. Feel free to distribute this around. And whenever someone runs it, it'll Next up, we'll need Python installed to do something a bit more fun. I'll download Python, close enough, and we'll download probably the latest version. Open it, then we'll simply add Python to path and install. Once it's done installing, you can simply right click your desktop, new text document, and we'll call it restart server.py. Right click this and open it with any text editor, whether it be notepad or anything else. And in the description down below, you'll find a Python file. Simply copy and paste in all the code that you find down below, save it, and we'll make a new file called index.html. We'll also remove the .text to change the format. We'll edit this HTML file with Notepad, and once again, you'll copy and paste the text in from the description down below, save it, and close it. Now, before we run restart server.py, we need to open a new command prompt window and run pip install flask, not flash, flask. There we go. Now all we need to do is make a new folder called templates and we'll move the index file inside of here. Now we can run restart server.py. When we do so, you'll see a link. Simply head across to this in your browser and you'll see this here. Restart computer, restart. Now the fun thing about this is that you can also access this via your phone by running cmd ipconfig and heading across to your IPv4 address from your mobile device on the same network. Should you want to go even further, you can port forward port 5000, run the script and navigate to your external IP colon 5000. When you do so, you'll see the screen here. Now, either you want your phone, a web browser, or in another country connected to your home PC. Now, all that's left to do is click restart. And that's really about it for this super quick and very easy guide. Once again, you'll find code in the description down below should you be interested. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you again next April. Ciao.